Um, I have bad news for you tonight. Easter is being cancelled. Um, the Easter Bunny here has been chewed up and there's a specific reason for it. In fact, I'm showing this. Whoa, I'm getting screwed here. This is not 20 seconds. That was not 20 seconds! Come back! No. Okay, well, you know, uh, Easter has been cancelled. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Easter has been cancelled. Easter here is a metaphor for the fact that um, there's two trends in health and in environment that are leading us to the point where we collectively may not be here to do Ignite talks in about 150 years. In fact, I think 50 years is the point of no return. And this is why in the title of my presentation I'm speaking of a banana odyssey, which is way longer than 30 seconds yet, by the way. Um, um, first of all, I'm, I'm a scientist, I have to let you know this, and I say the bulk of what people tell us is not true, and the best example for this is the kamikaze pilots. At one point in history, the, 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 the Japanese Navy was running out of fuel, and so we went to physical and mental karate, and on the next slide, I'd like to emphasize to you that this is restricted conversation, because my prediction, and in fact I attended two meetings last week that said, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Okay, the union of banana exporting. Bananas again are a metaphor. And, um, and uh, the point I want to make to you is banana is an in energy intensive product. Ten times. <laughs> banana is like big McDonald's. You eat them, and the McDonald's is a symbol of the amount of energy we need to support the world. In fact, if we all ate McDonald's today, two Big Macs, we would be using 25% of the world's oil production in one day. And this, folks, tells you you are screwed. <laughs> it's no kidding. It's no kidding. The, the, the manufacturing sector is sustainable, but we collectively as people aren't. And in fact, there's data that shows that it's not going to work. The bad guy is this guy. That's Standard Oil. That's uh, Rockefeller, as in the Rockefeller Foundation. 1865, this guy built the first monopoly. And all we do today, all we're sitting on, all we're wearing, is because of this guy. And because of this, we are now in a point in history where we're going to get screwed. <laughs> Kellogg, for example. <laughs> are you aware, ladies and gentlemen, that Kellogg invented conflicts for specific purpose? Uh, I, I have no intention to demonstrate today. <laughs> The bulk of the policies we're exposed to are coconut shell policies. We put coconut shells over our ears and we expect to bring down airplanes. This is a concept in, in anthropology, it's called cargo culture. It's because you wish it that it will come. Well, it doesn't come. Best data set on the world is the fact that uh, scientists have proven that storks are responsible for bringing or delivering babies. Um, there's a there's a correlation of 97% that shows that Stalin is really out of whack here. Um, Stalin was actually the first villain of the Cold War and hated it over energy. Um, in fact, Stalin wasn't the was the first bad guy, but he's not the last. Uh, I inserted this to make you laugh. Oh. Right. <laughs> Okay. This was to catch my breath in my presentation, in, fact, in case things get all fucked up. <laughs> Let's wait a little bit, we're on slide 13, so we know that. <laughs> no, this, the last villain in history was this guy. He initiated a war in Iraq to protect 4 million barrels of oil per day. So if we do the math, we're actually subsidizing through the war $50 a barrel for protecting the interest of oil companies in Iraq. Fast sperm syndrome, it's never been published anywhere else than here. Um, best way to explain this, you're driving on the road, there's an old guy in front of you, you want to pass him, you can't pass him, and you try to pass him in a passing zone, he speeds up. It's because we all collectively have been winners of a game. Um, Malcolm Caldwell, if you haven't read the book, I say you should read Outliers. It's one of the most inspiring books I have ever read in my life. The best way to describe this is this guy has taken out the process to make, uh, to make rock stars. <laughs> no kidding, no kidding. That wasn't, that wasn't funny. Magic <laughs> plant. Wars are won over energy. The, the Germans lost the war for many reasons, but energy was one of their cause. Democratization of energy. When I did my first degree at school, 
getting knowledge was immensely difficult. I spent lots of time in libraries. Now this little, this little kid here on his computer has access to a billion gigabytes from his life. Sockwell Day came to visit me in St. Mary. So he came up to St. Mary. That's funny, you should be laughing. <laughs> he said, you remember Stockwell Day riding a Sea-Doo at one point on TV and he was with, uh, with the white suit that was Stockwell Day? And ladies and gentlemen, that was not, that didn't go so well. The definition of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. The definition of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results.